welcome to NZ FPV Ground Station. Today's video is a still photos of uh, FPV Ground Station um, that I've built at using um, cheap parts and, and that. Um, some of it came off eBay. Um, you do not have to spend a fortune to make a FPV Ground Station as you're going to find out. First off, you're going to need a case um, to put your FPV gear in. Um, you can use any sort of case. Um, here I've used my old Vitava 1024 uh, transmitter case, uh, which is aluminium, um, but you can basically use any other um, case of your preferences. First thing you're going to need is an LCD monitor. The LCD monitor that I chose is a 4.3 inch um, um, security monitor that has snowflakes um, which um, I got for $25.70 New Zealand dollars. The next component you need is a 5.8 video receiver. Um, the one I chose is a non-diversity type receiver. Um, bear in mind I wanted to keep the price down on this project. Um, this uh, video receiver here only costs $7.57 in New Zealand money. The next component you need is an extension for your FPV antenna. Um, Obviously that your antenna ain't going to do any good if it's in the case. You need some forms of like having it outside the case. The one that I've used is a extender cable, uh, which is a reverse SMA male to reverse SMA female pigtail extender. Which only cost uh, $2 New Zealand money. The next component is optional. Um, but I want some means of recording my FPV flights without having to spend too much on a DVR system. Here I've got a USB video capturing card which does high quality. I put an old laptop I had for five years back into service, even though it's not the um, very fast at the top of the line as today's standards and that but it's still powerful enough to do record FPV video and also it serves to set up your controller on site. Here are all the components that are installed. I cut off the connectors and that and soldered, joined them and put a heat shrink on them. Um, to make it a little bit more tidier. As you can see, we've got uh, facilities for a uh, lipo battery to be installed to power the system up, and also the extension cable for the air antenna, so the antenna is actually on the outside of the case. So basically, when you power it up, power goes to your receiver monitor, and your signal goes from your FPV signal to your monitor, and also it feeds into the um, USB capturing card so you can actually record. Um, your FPV flight on your computer, but at the same time the monitor there is a backup monitor just in case your windows fail or um, packs are sad. Here is the ground station with the foam padding to hide all the cables behind it. Now this uh, FPV ground station can also house your laptop um, um, so you can just take it out on the field when you need it or just put it away for storage. Here is the complete FPV ground station all ready to go um, with the laptop and the uh, receiver and, tra and uh, monitor. Here is the total cost of this project. Bear in mind I already had an aluminum case that I used, a laptop and a USB capturing card, but you can use whatever you got that, um, that's handy. But the total price of this project here um, uh, is $32.63 USD, which is $45.32 New Zealand money. Um, as you can see, um, you don't have to pay too much for your FPV ground station and that, but hopefully this video just gives you a brief insight on how to make a complete cheap FPV system on the budget. That's it for today. Bye for now.